Hey, good morning. It's second day. Uh, it's 6 a.m. And the weather is um, really what I was not hoping for. It's really, really bad. Ah, it's cloudy, it's foggy. Um, everything what I can see is just some stack of hails. Wait, what? What did I just say? Stack of hails? I mean, is it even possible to stack hails on top of each other? I mean, I'm not sure about that, but what I'm sure about is that I meant to say stacks of hay, not stack of hails. But anyway, let's continue. And a uh, few trees in the background, but not really the castle. It's heavy fog. And actually, I checked the weather forecast and the thunderstorm is coming in as well. So it might start raining again. Even though it's supposed to be nicely sunny. Well, never mind. Um, I will try to take the advantage of this situation and make the best out of it. Um, maybe if the fog... You know, because through the fog I can see that um, the, it might be cloudy, but it might not be that bad. Actually, there is no wind at all. Um, it's actually warmer than I thought it's going to be. But still, I can't fly it with the drone. I can't see nothing. Nothing, really. If the fog goes a little bit higher, I might fly the drone and it will look epic even though we don't have a sun. Well, at least I hope I will get a chance to film it during the sunset or tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah. I think I'm going to eat my breakfast then um, and then we will see. So I made it to a place uh, called Siva Brada, which is nature reserve uh, established in 1979. And what can you find here? Well, you can find several geysers around this place. Well, two most strongest ones are one on the south, which is this one, and one on the north, which I already filmed. And then there are several more around this place. The height of this uh, small hill is uh, 25 meters and because the water is still erupting from the ground and the minerals in it it's still rising well it's called geysers but um, they used to erupt higher into the air but nowadays they just kind of rise from the ground thanks to the carbon dioxide but still it's a cool place and on the top of the hill behind me you can see actually a chapel of the holy cross uh, which is in baroque style which was built in 1675 and then rebuilt it um, in 1768 in front of it you can find stone holy cross as well well what else to say about this place it's really close to Spisky Hrad so if you go to visit Spisky Hrad you can visit this place as well um, I'm glad that I made it here before all the tourists because yesterday I saw so many tourists here um, but you know this it's, it's still early in the morning well early it's almost 8 a.m. now but it's still foggy um, so I guess that's why the tourists are not here yet yeah it's a cool place but it's uh, better to see during the uh, sunshine but I have to work with what I got because when it's going to be sunny I want to go on a castle um, yeah so I think that would be it from this location I'm not going to talk really some detailed information about this place but if you would like to find more about it it's called once again it's called Siva Brada so check it out let's go it's funny how you can hear that the ground uh, underneath me is really hollow After I finished filming at Siva Brada, I went back to my hostel where I changed my clothes because it was starting to be hot outside. Then I grabbed all my camera gear and started walking toward the castle. I went on foot because, well, first of all I thought that parking place is paid even though it is not, and secondly because my hostel is really nearby the castle. 
Almost there. In the morning it was cold, now it's hot. Well, at least on my way up there, I made some shots from the field next to the castle. Then I continued going up, with the views getting better and better with each step. But wait until you see the panoramic views from the main tower. Finally I reached the main entrance, which obviously happens to be the main gate. Behind the entrance you can find the ticket office, gift shop and also at the time they were setting up a stage, maybe for some kind of small concert or something similar. So I have to film really fast because the storm is coming again. Look at that. Storming coming, so I'm not going to vlog, I'm sorry. I want it, but I have to do a sh shot. Firstly, I went to the upper part of the castle. Right now you're looking at the main tower, surrounded by the construction site, which was there at the time of filming, but I think it isn't there anymore. I've decided to go up on the top of the main tower first, but it is easier said than done. You have to walk up many stairs. The staircases are really narrow. Actually, they are so narrow that only one person fits there, so if people go down, others who want to go up have to wait on a mezzanine and vice versa. You can see me walking crouch so I don't bang my head against the ceiling. It feels a bit claustrophobic. Finally I made it onto the last mezzanine. Just a few more steps and here we go. We are on the top of the main tower. The panoramic views are absolutely stunning. No surprise, because the Spish Castle is situated on a dormant rock 200 meters above the surrounding land. The only issue I had up there, well, actually everybody had, were those flying ants. They are so intrusive. They fly into you, sit on you, and just overall they make the panoramic views a bit less enjoyable. I suppose they are there all the time because warning signs inform you that they want to experience the views with you really up close and personal. At least they don't bite. But enough of that. From up here you can nicely see the size of the castle. After I enjoyed the views, I went back down using the same narrow staircase. Oh yeah. And of course I had to drop a coin into the well, wishing myself a secret that if you want it to come true, you must not tell anyone. And here is the staircase again. And some more stairs. Next I want to explore the insides of the castle that is basically converted into a museum. Now we are looking at the torture room, which actually never existed in this castle, but is here for educational purposes to showcase the torturing methods that were used in medieval times. In another room there are some weapons such as swords, knives, spears and other weaponry showcase on the wall. Then there are rooms furnished based on historical knowledge. You can find here a medieval style living room, bedroom or kitchen. There is a chapel as well. After I've seen everything inside, I headed back towards the lower part of the castle. By the time I explore the lower part, I would like to say something about the castle itself. It is one of the largest castles in Europe, covering an area of approximately 41,426 meters square. Spiskiherat or Spish Castle in English was built some 900 years ago in the 12th century on the site of an earlier castle. Since 1993, it has been a part of the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites. The castle is situated about the town of Spiske Podradje in the region known as Spish. Oh yeah, and we can't forget about these little fellas, the crown squirrels. They may be found all over the place, but mostly keep looking for them in the middle part, around the remains of a stone enclosure. Okay, so the storm is for now holding back, but it's still closing in. But 
at least I have a little bit more time to film this. I'm in a lower part of the castle now and it looks just amazing. Just look at that. It's enormous, it's huge. And uh, well, it had to be awesome to live here. Well, kind of a live, you know, I don't know. How was it in during those times? Um, it had to be difficult, surely, but there were some narrow corridors and you know defending these walls this castle had to be as difficult as attacking it I don't know on which side I would rather be you know from the drone you can see that this castle is large but until you really come here you don't even realize it and how steep it is you have to visit this it's awesome Look at this epic view. <laughs> this made my day, truly. We've been up there. It is well known and popular among the tourists, not only from Slovakia, but also from nearby Poland, Czechia, Hungary and other countries as well. And it is for a good reason. It's well-preserved castle and also during the summer months various activities take place here such as theatrical plays, exhibition of medieval costumes or firing from the cannons just to name a few. Just look at the tower. Was it even possible to siege this castle? Look at this slope. I, I mean, it seems even impossible to you know, to attack this castle, to siege this uh, castle and to conquer it because I, I just can't imagine. You know, I've been running around with the camera gear for almost three hours and I'm really exhausted. And I don't have a full armor protection sword and I'm not going into a battle. It's just... And the, on the opposite side, can you imagine defending this? Well, it might sound easy, but you know, when you're on the top and you have just the bow and arrows and the catapults are shooting at you, it, it's suddenly not that easy at all. And, and even if they made it and they used the ladders to go over the walls, I mean, I told you those, um, you know, those paths and, and uh, corridors in the towers were really narrow. So in a full armor, I can't imagine battling here. Wow. So I'm back on my road in, on which I came here a couple of hours ago. And uh, well, we have a sunset, but it's not really the best sunset. I hoped for the better one, but anyway, I can't make it because I have all the gear uh, in a hostel where I have to walk. Um, but anyway, as I said, there are clouds and, and some kind of mist or fog or, or, or something, or maybe it's even rain. Um, so maybe you can see it. I hope it's not rain. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I think that's it for um, today. And see ya tomorrow morning. Bye bye.